I, I came up, went around the back a little bit, and then I zigzag playing around on the, uh, oh, okay. the lawnmower. She explained why there's tire tracks all in the field. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Cell Homestead. This is part two of the video series on homestead security, and we're hoping that the information will help someone out there who's having problems with hunters, trespassers, or other weird things going on. In this episode, we're going to be talking about fence lines. Now, if you hear me mention perimeters or boundaries, we're talking about the outer fence line of your property. Uh, if you have pro fence lines in between like two pastures that you own both pastures, it's not really a concern. But we're talking about the outer perimeter of your property. If you have fences on your, on your borders, when was the last time you checked them? Do they need repairs? Are they overgrown? Look for, if it's overgrown, look for any gates that lead off of your property. Property lines change. Uh, a lot of things are sold. And gates that used to lead to other parts of the same property may not lead to your property anymore. Uh, remember when you look at fences, fences make good neighbors, but a down fence makes a great doorway. If you have gates that lead off your property, check those and make sure that they're locked. Um, we have one here that leads to a, another farmer's cow pasture. It's got a nice big thick chain on it and a lock. But if they're never going to be used again, consider replacing them with actual fencing. And if you don't have fencing, if the area is overgrown, there's really no way for a hunter to go to know he's crossed into your property. If it's all exactly the same, it's waist high or above, there's no way to know he's actually crossed over into your property. For that, we recommend, if possible, to clear an area 10 to 15 wide, 10 to, 10 to 15 feet wide, along the entire perimeter of your property. A would-be trespasser, there for reasons you shouldn't be, would be hesitant to walk over into cleared area where he could be seen. And for a hunter, they would easily and quickly recognize they've crossed into a crossed into a boundary. But remember, safety first. If you hear a hunter, gunshots make some noise. Loud noise like a whistle or a car horn will let them know someone is in the area and they need to stop shooting. Loud noise will also scare off any game they're after. Make sure you're wearing bright clothing. When walking your perimeter of your property, wear bright colors like hunter's orange. If there's hunters in the area, it'll keep you from being a target. They may see something moving, not recognize it's human, take a shot. We don't want that. Remember, without you, there is no homestead. When the area is clear, be random with that area. Drive through there multiple times a day or week. Mornings, afternoons, evenings, be random with it. Someone watching the property will never know when you're out and about. For hunters, an ATV tractor truck driving through at random times will scare off any game. And by actively driving or walking your property, you'll soon be able to quickly see any changes or disturbances in the property. If one day you drive through and there's nothing, everything's clear, everything looks great, the next day you drive through and there's trash, you're going to know somebody's been in the area. If you have your signs up and you have them numbered, you'll also be able to see if somebody's taken down your signs. Any property that touches your property, Make sure that you have their contact information and they have yours. This is your human perimeter around your property. Cows get out, trespassers wandering through, let neighbors know, and then they'll let you know if there's any problems around. And make your presence known. If you're working primarily around the house, but are hardly ever in the back 20 and back 40, take the time to walk through there once or twice a week. Make your presence known so that it's known that it's not bare raw land, but it's a working homestead, and that it's owned by someone, and that someone is always around watching. Other options for creating barriers? Get creative with it. You can use um, thorn blackberry bushes. Put a whole row down a, bear, a down a perimeter. As they grow up and they get big and lush and full, nobody's going to walk through there because of the thorns. 
rose bushes, cactuses, any thorn or densely growing plants will help prevent somebody just wandering through. If you're clearing trees and you're chopping that in the firewood, you're going to age your firewood. You don't want green wood because it smokes too much. Put that along your boundaries or perimeters. It's temporary, but somebody's going to be hesitant to walk over it or try and climb over it to get into your property. Again, get creative with it. So, I hope this helps someone out there. If you know someone that this could help out with, uh, please feel free to share it. Um, be safe out there. And until next time, be blessed, be safe, and we'll see you again.